What's up and welcome to The Cap, the place that always keeps you in the conversation. And by the way, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow along because we want to hear from you. Today, we're going to learn how to rock, check in on the Splash Brothers, and who's going to take a bite out of sawgrass. All that and more, it's time to get capped, let's go! Detroit is known as the City of Rock, and School of Rock has a great new show on Nickelodeon. Maybe Max Scherzer has been taking secret classes from the new Dewey fan, Tony Cavallaro, on how to rock the city of rock because when the Tigers showed up to DC yesterday, he put them through straight capital punishment. After a bad outing in Chicago, Scherzer struck out 20 guys in 9 innings to tie an MLB record and help the Nats win 3-2. And after Strasburg's new mega contract a few days ago, these Nationals are looking pretty solid headed into the summer. Let's keep it in baseball and go from the East Coast to the West Coast, where there was a Thor sighting in Hollywood last night at Dodger Stadium. But instead of a hammer, the power was coming from a bat. Noah Syndergaard hit two home runs and was the winning pitcher to help the Mets beat the Dodgers 4-3. On to basketball to check on the Splash Brothers, who combined for 62 points last night to help the Warriors beat the Blazers at Oracle and move into the Western Conference Finals. But congrats to Portland and Terry Stotts on a great season. In Toronto, the Dinosaurs were roaring last night at the Air Canada Center, where DeMar DeRozan had 34 points, Kyle Lowry stepped it up and had a big fourth quarter, and Bismack Biombo, well, he had a huge game too. The Raptors now lead this series 3-2 and head back to Miami, where Dwayne Wade and the Heat, they really better step it up if they're going to keep this thing alive. In other news, the coaching carousel in the NBA continues, and this time there's a little less magic in Orlando. Scott Skiles just announced his resignation, and the Orlando Magic head coaching search will begin immediately. On the ice in Dallas, where St. Louis blew past the top-rated stars last night 6-1, thanks to 20-year-old Robbie Fabry. Now they move on to the Western Conference Finals, and the St. Louis Blues, well, they've never won the Stanley Cup, so maybe this is their year. Let's wrap this thing up today and talk about a little golf. Now, the Players' Championship gets underway today at the TPC of Sawgrass, and three guys I expect to play well are Jordan Spieth, Jason Day, and Ricky Fowler. Now, Florida's known for its gators, and the first time I played a tournament down there, I had two right by my golf ball. But it's not a gator that I have my eye on this week. No, it's a Jayhawk. Gary Woodland is my dark horse. I expect this guy to win a big tournament soon, and this could be the one. If he hits in the fairway, I think he could take a big bite out of sawgrass. That's it for us today. I'm Brooke Lander, and you've just been capped.